what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and we're back here in planet zoo and uh i'm going to show you around the next project in the uh, sanctuaries series which would be simian islands uh, right now you're looking at a billboard that's featuring the logo that the awesome jurassic world insider made for me i'm uh didn't do any recording of a, a speed build or time lapse or anything uh, i decided to just kind of sit back and build without recording you know just uh sometimes recording can make me feel like i have some limits but uh or i'm like on a on a time limit or something like that so i just decided i wanted to uh build and not worry about that kind of stuff but uh right now i'm about to show you the entrance uh area that i've built uh simian islands uh as uh, the name implies, will be a series of islands, and I'll show you around those in just a second. I haven't done anything. I just did a lot of the uh, terraforming and stuff, get the uh, the river and stuff. But we are located in the uh, rainforests of South America for this zoo. And as also as the name implies, uh, it will be all about the uh, apes, monkeys, lemurs, and all those types of animals that are featured in the game. But as you can see here, we uh, come in... This will be the guest spawners. The guest spawners are hidden away inside there. Uh, basic building. Uh, I wasn't really too worried about making this building stand out or anything. Like I said, it's just the guest spawners. So, as you come in, you come through the uh, entrance area here. We got these uh, African lights that I changed the color of to kind of fit better with the uh, tropical theme. And then, of course, we got the double barrier right here. We got this, and then we got the rocks here. Uh, this isn't quite complete. I thought about adding some more foliage. Uh, within this area we do have the custom fence in the background that separates uh, the guests from the uh, well just the wild itself uh, same with on the other side and uh, when you come in you got the uh, Simeon Islands uh, entrance sorry about that noise that is my uh, water bottle popping but uh, got the sign here with the uh, towers here and in the towers you can see we have some uh, some monkeys got an orangutan and some uh, macaques. But as you come in, we do have like lines for uh, season passes where people can purchase their season pass. And then when they purchase their season pass, they go around here and enter into the zoo. And if you already have your season pass, you just walk straight in. Uh, I ex express lane here, which I assume would be something like uh, buying your ticket online. And come into the zoo and then of course we got the uh, daily entry here where people can buy their tickets and you can go this way or this way but yeah uh, like i said we got the uh, sign here is being held up by the uh, bamboo post here uh, lots and lots of tropical foliage i really wanted uh as dense as i possibly could you can also come around here this is mainly for me for a staff or other reasons i was thinking about throwing some uh Toilets over here in this area and connecting the path here and uh, whatnot. And then we're probably going to have a uh, path that leads off this way to this island over here, as you can see at the uh, top left here uh, for the boat, the boat that's going to go around the park. But yeah, you come in get under this uh, awning area and then you come out to the entrance to the, to the zoo in each. There will be no animals on this island alone, and I can show you from above here. Now, I've practically got this island uh, pretty much done. Like I said, I need to add more foliage and stuff, uh, make it a little bit more dense. We got the uh, the rocks uh, around the edge of the island, and as you see when we uh, pull up, that you're kind of looking at what the idea of uh, what the zoo is going to look like. You know, you got the main entrance. Uh, this island is going to have a boat ride on it, where the boat ride starts, and. Uh, this first island we come to, which each island, of course, as you can see, will be connected by bridges. Now, this island here is going to be have a gift shop, a cafe, and just a little visitor center and stuff like that on it. Uh, here we're going to have our lemur island, which is going to house uh, the lemurs. Uh, this island is going to be the, uh, the, the working title is the uh, Amazon Island. Uh, and it's going to have the capuchin monkey with some exhibits as well. And then we do have the... Uh, African Island which is gonna be our biggest one and it's gonna have a massive habitat that's gonna be like a I don't know it's kind of hard to explain it's gonna have like a building and on each side of the building is gonna be a habitat with all four species of monkey and ape that are found in Africa along with some more uh, exhibits as well 
And then over here we're going to have uh, the Island of Asia. And it's going to have the orangutan, macaques, uh, proboscis monkey, and uh, as well as some exhibits. So, But as you can see, uh, I used the... I colored the water really muddy and dirty because it is supposed to be natural. And this is supposed to be just... Uh, you know, the animals won't be able to get into this water or anything. Uh, and then, of course, around the edges we have... Uh, we're going to cover it with trees and stuff. So that way when... If you are in any spot where you can see out past the islands and past the river, you'll see the forests and the uh, very dense jungles of rainforest. And then in the background, you'll see the mountains. And that's my plan. Yeah, but this is pretty much uh, the work in progress here. And like I said, I didn't record this as a time lapse or a speed build. I just wanted to sit back and relax and do some building. And uh, so that's exactly what I did. Yeah, but this is what we got so far. And again, I'm thinking about adding some more foliage and stuff, but I don't want to make it too dense here. I wanted to make it look like it's a little bit controlled. And uh, outside, we will have the uh, some more dense foliage and stuff. But I do like the idea of uh, being able to stand someplace in the entrance area here and being able to see past and get glimpses of what's to come on the uh, other islands there as well. But yeah, uh, pretty much what I got so far. Uh, very uh, South American tropical feel. I really, really love these trees. I think they're called uh, Wimba trees or something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Wimba trees. These are these guys are awesome. They're huge, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I like them so much. But uh, yeah, uh, this right here is literally just uh, taken, uh, building like a set of rocks, as you can see, and then uh, copy and pasting them over, and then every once in a while just deleting something, to making sure it looks uh, different. We still got our bridge to work on. Thinking about going ahead and making one bridge and being able to use this bridge and copy it over uh, because each island will be connected by bridges. So this one will have an, uh, we'll have a bridge that connects from here to here. We'll have a bridge that connects here to here. Bridge that connects here to here and here to here. And along with here, 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 and here, here. Just like that. And then of course the boat ride doesn't connect to any of this stuff. It just connects to the main island here. And that boat will come through in some way, shape, or form around the islands and stuff. Uh, this is going to be one of those zoos that uh, each time you see an episode, uh, some of the area might not be complete. So a lot of the detailing around the islands and stuff like that won't be complete. Uh, we'll do that over time and a lot of the stuff I'll do off camera. You know, I feel like that's best to make sure that the episodes uh, don't stay too long. Because some of the ideas I have for the enclosures for the apes, monkeys, and lemurs are a little bit uh well they're probably going to take a while so there's gonna be lots of cuts and stuff like that uh of course i haven't built the bridge yet so what i'm thinking about doing the next episode that you guys will see is uh finishing up the bridge and getting that ready to go hopefully we can do it right to where i could take this bridge that i build and copy and paste it over to the other ones uh, but i'm also considering just building brand new bridges for each one but i'm not sure i'll have to think about that because that is you know it's a lot of extra work and it's not work that's technically necessary and then of course we need to get the uh we need to make some adjustments over here so probably right there to come for a bridge to come out and connect here and then we'll have the boat tour probably somewhere around here but I'm also still not uh, convinced on the boat tour yet. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not because I'm not sure if I want to keep this as natural as possible. But a boat tour does seem kind of cool. So I think that uh, we can make that happen. Of course, we'll have to make some adjustments to the island too. We might have to lower some of the island as well. But yeah, over time, we'll start seeing this fill up with the trees and stuff. But I'm thinking about doing that last because uh, you'd be surprised how... I mean, the, the, it's running smooth and everything, but every once in a while you get some, some lag spikes. I guess is what they call it, where the uh, frame rates drop. Just in this little area here, but it's probably because I have so much in this little area. Especially with these uh, faux rocks here, and then we got the we use the tipple pieces here as well. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much what I got so far. I know it's nothing special, but uh, I think it turned out really well. I really, really do. It gives you a really, uh, it really does give you a tropical Amazon type feel. So, I hope uh, everyone likes the sign. The sign, uh, I've been wanting to use like billboards and just use all the billboards, but it, it's a shame that 
you know, th this looks better. A billboard up here wouldn't look as good as this does, I don't believe. Despite the fact that uh, this epic logo that the uh, Insider made. You know, I just, I wasn't even going to put this in, but I just have to show off that logo. I mean, it's too good. So, it's got to go in. And like I said, we can, uh, I can, I can detail this up some more with some more foliage and stuff like that. It is pretty much what I got so far. I hope, uh, hope everyone likes it. Uh, I know this one's probably going to be a short video, but... What I can tell you <clears throat> is uh, I'm debating on whether put placing other animal species in this park besides just apes, monkeys, and lemurs. Uh, I'd like to know in the comment section what you guys uh, think about that idea. But for instance, we do have 10 exhibit animals that we're going to be housing. Uh, I think exhibits are important because with just monkeys, exhibits kind of give it that more of a... Uh, uh, a variety of species of animal and stuff so so I can't tell you that oh here we'll probably do our boat tour uh, Africa section we're gonna have the bonobos mandrels gorillas chimpanzees titan beetles and uh, the giant tiger land style somewhere over here those are all African animals uh, here we're gonna have the Capuchin monkey, centipede, uh, the four species of spider, and a goliath beetle. And here we're going to have the lemurs, and I believe that's just going to be the lemurs, and that's it. And uh, I would, hold on one second, because uh, I have all my notes on my phone, and my phone, or the OneNote app is being dumb. Okay, I got it up. All right, so. Yeah, so both lemurs on this island, nothing else. Uh, we already went over to Africa. And then last is the Asian island, the island of Asia, which have the orangutan, proboscis monkey, macaque, and the leaf insect. So, yeah. And over here, uh, I'm thinking about with the boathouse, we're going to have the uh, cockroach within the boathouse building, I guess you could say. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. We will figure it out. But uh, yeah, that's what I got so far. Uh, I hope really everyone really enjoys it. Uh, like I said, I'm debating on whether to have some other species of animals kind of mixed in around the park. Uh, maybe not too much, but you know, like for instance, with the orangutan proboscis monkey, we might be able to do a, one of those animals, we might be able to throw like a, a taper in or something like that. Uh, other animals that are from South America. Like here, I could probably add a, uh, I could probably add a tortoise in here. You know, just for the heck of it, but I don't know. I don't know about having animals right here smack dab in the entrance. It seems kind of weird to me. But yeah, uh, what you guys are seeing, if there's anything that you would like to see differently, or maybe something I can add to make it look a little better, uh, please let me know. I know I do plan on kind of adding some more detail to the floor. You know, maybe put some arrows or something. Uh, give it just a dash of realism. Because like I said, I don't, I don't play this game for realism. I know y'all probably uh, noticed that by now. And I won't start playing it for realism. Uh, I really enjoy people's uh, videos who play for realism, such as Zooable and stuff like that. Uh, Zooable did Bapali, by the way, for people that don't know. I really enjoy those, those those episodes. I really look forward to seeing them, and sometimes I watch them more than once. Uh, but to do it myself and to worry about all that realism is very stressful to me. You know, it, I would spend too much time on one little thing, and it would just nothing would ever get done. So. I'm trying to just play the game and have fun, you know what I'm saying? And despite the fact that that might be fun for other people, for me, it's not so much fun because it's just too much, it's too much stress to get everything right and, you know, and all that stuff. And I just don't have the time. Maybe one day. But like I said, I don't play for realism. Uh, but I do like to add a dash of realism here and there just for the, just for the hell of it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much what I got for this episode it's a very short one but I really just wanted to kind of show everyone what uh, what this island or what this uh, what this uh, park is gonna look like and uh, so far I already like it more than I do than I did with reptile world and uh, cat country uh, my first two in the sanctuary series now after this one I only have two more planned and then the sanctuaries series 
I'm not sure what's going to happen to it after that. But uh, I would love some feedback on that as well. I mean, if you have other ideas, I mean, I thought about adding... Okay, so Simeon Islands, this one is all about the Apes and Monkeys, like I said before, but it was chosen by the Discord, my Discord community. So they... I had a, I put a poll up. People can vote. They can either vote on Simeon Islands uh, or they could have voted on the other two, which I won't tell you the names of them, but I will tell you that uh, one had all the bear species and the other had all of the aquatic animals. And I don't just mean aquatic animals as in the four animals, the five animals that came with the aquatic DLC. I mean any animal on the roster in Planet Zoo that has water or that even requires water in their habitat would be... Uh, part of this zoo so not just the penguins otters and uh seals and caimans but also flamingos and hippos and uh other animals uh like that even the proboscis monkey by the way because the proboscis monkey can actually swim i'm not sure if they actually require water uh, as a matter of fact we can go ahead and check right now but uh they will also be added whether they require water or not Nope, they don't require water, but they can swim. So, as you can see right here, biomes, aquatic. Right? Uh, same thing with, like, the polar bear. Polar bear is this, so polar bears will be part of that zoo. Uh, Nio monitors uh, require water, so they'll be part of that zoo. So you see where I'm getting at here. Anything that requires water or that likes water uh, will definitely be added into that zoo. Give or take a few. There might be a few that won't be included. Uh, I don't think I'll be including any of the big cats. So, but like I said, uh, people voted, and they voted for Simeon Islands. And then the next one, I'll do another vote between the other two. But I'm also thinking about adding a canine sanctuary for all the canines. And the reason being is because we do have plenty. We have more than we did in the past, especially with the last two, last couple of uh, updates with DLCs and stuff. But our canines are up to six species of canines. The, the wild dog, the wolf. Arctic Wolf, Timber Wolf, Dole, Dingo, and Spotted Hyena. But I'm not sure that's a good variety of canines to actually build a, a full-on like sanctuary series out of. But to be fair, there may be six canines, but I'll be doing a bear one, and there's only six of those. So I guess it's possible. So definitely, uh, definitely know me down in the comment section if that's something I should add to it. I also thought about doing a other forms of sanctuaries so like sanctuaries the farm where we have animals that uh kind of resemble what you'd find on a farm because i know there's a lot of farm animals that are uh, done by mods now but uh like i may have said in the past i'm not sure if i've said it before but most people that know me know that i'm not going to be using mods and uh the only time i'll start using mods is when the game is no longer supported by frontier which means no more uh updates no more dlcs and uh that's the only time I'm going to do it because then if there's no more updates, I don't have to worry about uh, taking out the files and putting the files back in like they said you have to and stuff. I don't really know everything about mods and, and whatnot, but yeah, you see what I'm saying. Plus, uh, I th on a personal level, on a personal my personal opinion, I think uh, Frontier is doing just fine with their DLCs and updates. I don't think there's any reason to uh, ask for any more at this moment. Uh, the only thing I would ask for is a, a couple changes, which that reminds me, I am going to be working on a video soon about things that I would like to see added to Planet Zoo that I feel are possible, so keep a lookout for that one. Also, another possibility would be birds. We could do a bird sanctuary, but I'm going to wait on that because I am a firm believer in the fact that we will be getting an aviary DLC soon, and I think personally it'll either be in the summer, so sometime around July, August. Uh, same time the Australian pack came out last year but I'm more likely to believe that we will be seeing that DLC uh, December so the same time we got the aquatic DLC and the reason why I think that is because I think that at the end of each year you want some kind of game changing game changing thing added to the game and that's what aquatic DLC did a lot of people weren't happy with aquatic DLC I'm sure there's a lot of people that are never happy with anything but it did add a whole brand new mechanic to the game and I believe that that's what an aviary is going to do, is it's going to add a whole new mechanic to the game. So, that's just my personal opinion on it and what I believe is going to happen, but we'll see. This isn't really, I don't know what I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going on a, on a ramble. I'm rambling on and I'm talking about crap that don't matter right now because uh, 
that's what I do. But anyway, uh, I really hope you guys like what you see here. Uh, I know a lot of you would like to have seen a time lapse or a speed build. And I'm sorry, I just uh, I just wanted to sit back, relax, and build. I mean, that's really all, I, all there was to it. Uh, but I promise, you know, that won't happen too many times. Uh, I do like the idea of every episode, every first episode of every new series is to do an episode like this. Just for the simple fact that I can sit down and explain it to you guys. Because I don't do commentary on speed build videos. And I don't plan to anytime soon. Uh, but uh, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and having a listen. Uh, looking around at the entrance area that I've built so far. Like I said, it's very much still a work in progress. Uh, I think this zoo is probably going to have a lot of uh, multiple part videos where we do like a uh, lemur house part one, part two, part three, stuff like that because uh, I really want to put a lot of detail into this and I want to put a lot of uh, I want to put a lot of my heart into it as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to building this one. I got some cool ideas. Don't know if they're going to look cool when they get done, but we'll see. But anyways, I really appreciate you guys uh, clicking on the video. Uh, if you haven't uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so if you like the content. Uh, it's not really about uh, being the best YouTube ever. It's really about saying, hey, you subscribe to my channel, which means you like what you see. And uh, I really appreciate that kind of stuff. And I also have a Discord channel if you want to come over and check it out. Uh, it's really not my Discord channel. It's our Discord channel. But yeah, uh, definitely come over and check it out if you want to. And... I will see you guys in the next video. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you later.